The NFL has suspended four players for violating the league's gambling policy. Indianapolis Colts Isaiah Rogers and Rashad Berry, along with free agent Demetrius Taylor, all suspended indefinitely for the 2023 season for betting on NFL games last year. Now, the Colts later releasing Rogers and Barry as a result. Tennessee Titans Nicholas Petit Ferrer also suspended for the first six games for betting on non NFL sports at the team's facility. The NFL prohibits gambling in any club, league, facility, or venue, including its practice facilities. The league has been cracking down on violations starting with former Atlanta Falcons receiver Calvin Ridley in 2022 for betting on his own team while recovering covering from an injury and at least 10 players have been suspended in the last year. We're welcoming in right now clinical professor at Preston Robert Tisch Institute for Global Sport Daniel Kelly the second professor thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Why is all of this happening now? I mean has betting always plagued the NFL behind closed doors and they're just now cracking down on it or, or why? Um, this is all residuals of the 2018 Supreme Court ruling of Murphy versus NCAA, which essentially opened up sports betting um, nationwide. And so since 2018, this has been an issue that all major sports leagues are dealing with. And so whether it was behind closed doors in the past, but now it's at the forefront, um, sports books and sports betting and sports gambling are now a part of the NFL's reality. The NFL has gone to lengths to educate their players about the policies and work with the NFL PA, the Players Association, to figure out the proper forms of education and rules enforcement. What is so damaging about gambling in the NFL? Why does the NFL need to have the appearance of being free of this? Uh, the NFL has a, a staunch approach to preserving the integrity of the game. Um, this clause is in every contract for all of the players. Additionally, they've gone above and beyond to educate their players about um, the rules and, and policies for the gambling and to maintain this integrity. Um, each player must sign and acknowledge they have received the manual and the policies for the gambling policy. And so they've gone above and beyond to make sure that they are upholding the integrity of the game, which is a major part of the mission for the National Football League. Ha has there been any surprise behind closed doors on the part of the players by how serious some of these consequences has, have been? It, it's very serious. And even seven times Super Bowl champion Tom Brady was brought in to um, introduce the gambling policy and, and provide instructional videos um, backing up the importance of the NFL's policies for the gambling policy. Um, the NFL has taken an approach um, publicly behind closed doors, and the enforcement rules have been very detailed. Um, the NFL has six key rules for the gambling policy. Number one, don't bet on the NFL. It's very clear. Number two, don't gamble at your team's facility while traveling on a road game or staying at a team hotel. Number three, don't have someone bet for you. Number four, don't share inside information. Number five, don't enter a sports book during the NFL playing season. And the last one, number six, don't play fantasy football, daily fantasy, fantasy football. And so the NFL has gone above and beyond to be very strict. And it's the most strict policy in comparison to the top four leagues in America. You know, Rogers took full responsibility for his actions. He did issue um, an apology. Does this help him land somewhere when he does become eligible? Does it allow other teams to trust him again? What happens to all of these players after this? Uh, for, for Rogers, for, for Barry, and, and possibly Taylor, the suspension will last for the entire 2023 season, but they will be able to apply for reinstatement. Um, similar to Calvin Ridley, where he got the opportunity to play again with the Jaguars. Um, it's very hopeful they'll get a chance if they can prove their contrition, and they'll get a chance to prove it, hopefully, through the reinstatement process after a full season. Okay, Professor Daniel Kelly, appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. I want to bring you a live look of New York City right now. 